Hi, I'm Randy, and this is how art changed me. I was born in Atlanta, Georgia. My family had always been musical, so uh, to really entertain myself as a single um, child, I started playing the piano. Anything that might uh, make me sad, I would go to the piano and it would make me happy. And uh, I met my, actually, my future wife at a music camp in Florida State when we were both 17. So we became immediately good friends and then we started dating and we just kind of fell in love. And so I was married, living in Atlanta and I was an accountant. And um, we both had loved New York, Karen and myself. So we decided we want to move to New York. So we did, we transferred and we moved to New York. And that was in 1976, I was 25. But the more I walked around New York, the more I realized, wow, there's something about me. There's just something about me that I'm just not comfortable with. And I thought it was growing up in the South, being kind of repressed and all of the ways that the South can really repress you. Um, you know, it's a very hyper-masculine, male-dominated society. But it was, it, was a, it, was, it was a very strange thing because I realized I lived such an isolated existence. But we came here and um, I was wandering around just to get a ticket to something and Chorus Line had gotten a lot of publicity. So I stood in line to get a return ticket to Chorus Line. So I was lucky enough, I remember the Schubert Theater, I remember sitting in the first balcony on the left uh, watching the show. And then there was one moment when there was one character, his name was Paul, and um, he came out on stage, really, and he ended up breaking his leg and he couldn't perform anymore. And um, here was this man confessing to be a gay man and losing his identity, which was dance. And I had this, this visceral reaction to it. It's really hard to describe, but I just started bawling, really, really crying. And I didn't... You know, I thought it was sympathy for the character, but it was it was after that I realized, no, it was sympathy for myself because I realized this was something about myself that I had never really acknowledged. Um, I had looked at men and, I mean, but I thought everybody did, you know, and it was no big deal. And it was certainly something that I would, I could have admitted to myself because again, growing in the South, which was such a, a hyper-masculine um, community, I had no role models of what being gay, I don't even think it was gay back then, it was like being queer. Um, there was nobody to look at like this is, this is the way that I am, so therefore I must be also. Suddenly my whole world had just, or my eyes had been opened that there were other people that had similar feelings that I had. And I don't know when it came to me, but it really came to me at one point that I can't, I can't live a lie. When I look back at it now, it's crazy how this visceral moment in a chorus line just changed my life forever. Um, I don't want to say I came screaming out of the closet because it was just no way if I was still an accountant. But um, but by by first moving to New York, by seeing the show that made me confront myself, the next thing I really needed to confront was I'm not really an accountant. This is not who who I am. Uh, that's not who who. I really want to be. So I gave up my professional career. I became a CPA and I gave it all up and I went to work in retail. And then I met really the love of my life. And um, we've been together 40 years now. I'm very grateful for the events that have led up to, uh, up to now really. And uh, I am very happy, open, gay man. We find out who we are. We find out who other people are. We find out who we want to be, who we strive for by opening ourselves up to the arts, you know, whether it's going to the theater, going to the ballet, going to the opera, um, going to a museum. It's very effective, it's very moving, and that's the beauty of the arts. You know, it affects us in many different ways that we don't always realize um, until sometimes years later. But those tiny little seeds are planted, and if you just let them grow, it'll change your life. It did mine, for sure.